happy holidays, happy new year, if you're watching or listening to this at the normal time it's released, happy new year's eve, if you're watching or listening to this on the Patreon, maybe even new year's eve eve, depends how proactive I am. Why has there been such a big gap between episodes? Uh, Well, two people decided their episodes, they don't want them to come out. Pussies, I like to call those people. Um, Basically, from now on, if you come in this room, the episode gets released. Okay? Anyone watching? You come in this room, watch your fucking mouth. If you don't want something you've said to come out, don't say it. Simple. I'm pissed off. I'll be honest with you guys. It's actually three guests now. The two hours of setup, the two hours of podcast, and the three to five hours of editing for them to then go, oh, actually, no. Even when I offer to take out any of the things, which are never bad, because you are the company you keep. I don't bring fucking racists on there, do I? (sighs) That's enough of my rant. Anyway, you might be watching or listening to this early on the Patreon, and you might be... You might have just picked up some brand new downbeat clothing. How could you get those things? Uh, Patreon.com forward slash the downbeat. You could be watching this early for one pound. Just one pound. Don't give me more. You can't give me less. Just one pound. And you might be using the Patreon to buy the downbeat merch early as well, which you can get at www.thedownbe.at. So it spells downbeat. (sighs) Yeah, that's that. My guests this week are Def Havana. They are now a two-piece, used to be a more-piece. Pop slash rock band from the UK, really funny. I've filled in for them before at two days' notice, uh, and which was a f- bit of a riot. Uh, we talk about that a lot. We talk about what they've been doing, where they've been. They're lovely guys. It was a pleasure to have them. Uh, we're going to listen to that and watch that, because it is on video, just after a word from our sponsors, Display. Display is a poster company with a difference. They make metal posters, and I mean literally metal, not Satan and shouting and not showering for days on end. Literally made of metal. Displays mount on the wall with a magnet. No holes, no drilling, no nonsense. If you're renting, the included protective leaf means you're not going to mess your walls up. Just attach the leaf to the wall, add the magnet, and then mount your display. Because displays are magnetic, not only does it take a second to adjust, but you can swap them out depending on your mood. Are you having some sort of manic episode? You want bright colours? Are you depressed? With display, there's an option to 3D print a frame to the side of the poster. It's not a real frame, but it is textured like a real frame and at the sort of distance that you should be looking at a poster from it definitely looks like a real frame if you're looking at your posters really really close up you're probably up to something a bit weird they've got official stores with bands like gojira ghost judas priest slipknot as well as movies games we even made a downbeat store all of the coolest downbeat merch designs we got the coffee club design we got tons on there they got tons of other stuff you can get 20 percent off any display using the code downbeat if you buy three or more you get 30 percent off i get a little bit of kickback from that you can support the podcast you can support whatever i do and your rooms can look cool af while doing it Uh, i don't do this with every guest no you insisted there's a remote on, in shot, see, after all that. It's a magic remote. A fucking L, or a LG ad. Do you want to give me some money? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just start advertising for you people should, yeah. who don't want you. And, and uh, That's, that's how it, I got the other sponsor. And, and it happens. Yeah, that's yeah, how yeah. I got the other sponsor, which yeah. hopefully was at the beginning of this video, and whatever it was, buy it. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> um, hopefully, because like, that was, I made a fake one. I was like, oh, I'm just drinking a lovely can of your brand yeah, here. Sort of, and yeah, then yeah. it fucking worked. <laughs> see, no. Mugs. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Right, Jamesy e, Matt E. Yeah. yeah. I, I reckon one of those Y's is superfluous, but I don't know what, what, what word means. <laughs> Un- unnecessary. Yeah, which one? Unnecessary. Which one's unnecessary? James E. Well, he had it first, surely. Yeah, but his name's in there. It's just... M- Matthew E. Yeah, do you know what I mean? He's <laughs> <laughs> <it's> the equivalent. <laughs> From Death of Anna. Where the fuck's your band been? Uh, uh, first, first off, where the fuck you been? In the bin. The band has literally been in the bin. No, it's good now. It's good now. Um, where what? have we been? 
Uh, Where haven't we been? No, nowhere, then somewhere, and now it feels like everywhere. Yeah. Basically. Is that the name of the new album? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a, it's, 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 it's a pensive affair. Yeah. <laughs> what is the new, name of the new album? Present is a foreign language. Right, okay, that's what I thought it was, because I was going to get it wrong, because there's an Alan Partridge quote that's very similar. Well, look, it's just in my yeah. blood, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> what <laughs> is it? There's a, there's a, there's a quote in um, Mid Morning Matters where there's like they've got a historian on to talk about the royal family, <laughs> and he says, the past is a foreign land. They do things different there. But that's a, um, that's a quote from a book. In, oh, from like clever clogs. Yeah. No wonder you brought oh, him. Yeah. What's the book? Can tell you, I'm not that good. Oh. But it is, it's the first line in a insert famous novel f- title here. I forgot how much you look like Frank Zappa. It's, it's mental, isn't it? It's <laughs> no, you know he looks more like Cliff Burton. Oh, come on. Oh it's my like God. So much like Cliff Burton. Yeah, look, we're in a radio oh. station in Berlin. There was a photo of Cliff Burton from years ago. Get that closer to your mouth, please. Oh, for fuck's sake. Please. Yeah. Close enough? Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> I've got to preface this whole thing before you go to your Berlin radio station story. It's not a story. It's not a story. It just looks like Cliff Burton. Yeah, yeah, um, we we made friends with each other at Reading Festival in, it must be 2013, because yeah. you were on, uh, what the fuck? Was that the last album you did? No, 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 no. That no, was no. like two, that was two, three albums? Yeah, no, no. Three albums ago, was, I think. Yeah, we had a couple professional. Um, <laughs> so you were playing Reading, and you knew the Architects Boys. I don't know if you were there. Were you I, there? I, I would he have been definitely there. was there. It was the main interaction. No offense. The main interaction was with him. None taken. <laughs> so he's Jamesy by default. Yeah. You'll be Matthew. Yeah. So, All right. yeah. uh, Thanks for saying my actual name. Uh, that's fine. Sorry. <laughs> so you were friends with Architects. I was drum taking for Architects, but I, I don't know if we, they were playing and you were playing we so were all just there yeah. and then I heard you quote the office and then we were at the UK office instant friends immediate besties yeah. and then there was like we'd, we 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 dipped into like what's your favourite quote and we both had such obscure quotes that it was like oh, okay yeah, this is but there is not many people Matty Matty has a insane knowledge of the office as well but he's managed to like work it out of his personality but there's not many people I know other than you that have the same knowledge as me and it's this could go very yeah. wrong that was I just need to preface it that it really might be just nonsense. just office quotes I'm fine with Richard what, what's your opinion on Ricky Gervais now I, I think <laughs> um I mean, it's crap, really. <laughs> What's your opinion? On it? Crap, <laughs> crap now. But yeah, yeah. Responsible th- for probably the way that I am. No, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Day. Well, Honestly, I don't know what my personality would be if I hadn't watched The Office at a young age. I've got no... I don't have a personality. It's just... It's, it's in, a, in every movement I do, it's pr- pretty much Brent. Same. It's bad. It's bad. But yeah, now I'm in the latest... I'm, I'm, j- I'm joking. Not crap that's obviously the latest stand he's not going to watch this he blocked me on twitter yeah fair enough um well basically didn't he follow you first he followed me (laughs) and i said i'm sorry for saying Derek was shit and then he blocked me fair enough um i you you know when you think i think someone or like you listen to a record or watched a movie like a tarantino film all of which are about an hour too long apart from reservoir dogs no one's there to rein them in and i do kind of feel like that's what Stephen Merchant, Stephen Merchant probably and, brought to it. And that's why I think, not to make this all about UK comedy, 35% American listeners. So Good for you. Could use the numbers. I actually, actually love the US office. So. Uh, yeah, so do I. Yeah. But I reckon that's why Alan Partridge, Steve Coogan, has like continued to go up because he got the Gibbons brothers yeah. co-writing with yeah. him. Who were younger and a bit more like and were fans. Oh, hey, old man, I'm afraid you can't say that one. Yeah, right, <laughs> and were fans, and then yeah. now it's good. It's great. Like, I, I think this is. I think this time is where oh, Partridge I, should yeah. live. It's perfect. It's, it is really good. I mean, back to Ricky Gervais. I, I, I owe him a lot because, like, the, I'd say eighty percent of the laughs I've had. Just an example of the laughs we have are because Quote one. Of, there's a, there's oh, a, I'm going to put a tally. Quote a tally. Quote one. Okay. So, yeah, I'd say eight Just giving myself about 10 more hours of editing. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Good. Going to regret that if, instantly. If you continue to watch and the tally doesn't happen. <laughs> Not his fault. That's because I'm doing this myself. Yeah. So I'm cooking and cleaning. And Carry on. You owe him. I owe him a lot because he, well, he made me laugh. But the latest stand-up's not very good, is it? 
the the thing that annoys it's a me bit offensive no it, it's not even like it's it just screams like just not being that not you're not clever enough to come up with yep. something that is not yep. really offensive yeah. yeah but and also there's he's reused jokes i've heard him say before in yeah. it which is and he's doubling down like doubling down on the the comedy like it's a man in a dress thing. <sighs> it's like, even even well, though I disagree fully with that, even if you did agree with that, it's not hard to write a joke that's not about that. If you're such yeah. a fucking professional comedian, yeah, just write a different one. But they know it gives, there's like a lot of them, it gives them like, you, you get f- 1,500 new fans if you just come out on Twitter and say... I think that's just a man in a dress, and then you get immediately get money. That's what <laughs> exactly. happened. Yeah, exactly. I don't reckon they really believe it. No. I, I, well, having opinions for money is what it is. Pretty much. Frankly, I don't know why it's any of their concern. Well, yeah, I don't know why. It's, <laughs> yeah, why is it any of his concern? That, that is an office quote as well. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Fuck's sake. Is it? What's the quote there? <laughs> I don't know why it's any. Is it office? It's, it's one of the things. Nah, I'm not giving it. it might be extras. Extra. I think it's happening extra. with the tally. It's extras. But the office. <laughs> to go back to yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> it is extra. <laughs> the up. office and extras, phenomenal, phenomenal. Even life's too short. Bits of it, are funny. bits of it. I mean, <laughs> there, there is some fucking debatable shit on there. Chegwin though. So the Chegwin, the Chegwin, uh, Barry <laughs> and Les Dennis, and Les Dennis <laughs> episode when they're talking about how to kill themselves. It's yeah, yeah, it's unbelievable. Mad. It is, it, that is genius. Cheggers plays cock. It's good, isn't it? Who's ringing? That's probably my phone, isn't it? Professional. Oh, it's management. Oh. <laughs> 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 I don't know why I assume that. What are you doing in Glasgow? Where the where the fuck has your band been? Right. Give me give me. What was the gap between albums? Uh, it was. You're gonna have to shut that up. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Wait. That yeah, you're gonna have to do it. Having the ringer on's village, isn't it? <laughs> I, f- I swear I put it on. You, you, you never do. How long? Have you got keypad tones on as well? Mate, mate, <laughs> mate, no way. Mate, no, I haven't. Honestly, Sorry, this, is, this does my nothing. It'll connect to his speaker and like you listen to a song and... No way. So you have got one. Like, yeah. Go get your phone yeah, so you can it, find it, out if he's got... You're going to have to edit this out. It's no, because it's it. funny. Just it's go ab- get it. It's absolutely don't, mental. Don't nudge your camera and we're good. Wonderful. Yeah. Crystal clear. He's coming. If anyone's just listening to the audio, this is a little bit of dead air. Why not go and buy whatever thing that I said at the beginning of the program and you could support the podcast or go to patreon.com forward slash the downbeat. And he's back. Hey. Immediate. Sorry about that. Did yeah. you not did you not bring it? No. I wanted to te- I wanted to know about your keypad tones. He has them on. I wanted oh. to shame you. No, you can't shame me. No, yeah, he has them on. I haven't got them on now, have I? Because I just put it on. Just turn them off quickly. Yes. <laughs> where where the fuck's band been? Well, uh pretty much stopped doing stuff for it actually very nicely coincided with COVID, so we didn't actually have to address it. We just stopped. Yeah. Like, we had some shows planned to, like, kind of wrap up the uh, accounts uh, in for 2020, but then COVID happened, and we didn't have to think about it, and life got in the way, really. And, uh, I mean, it's, it's deeper than that. But uh, Yeah, I mean, that's sort of what we do here. So, yeah, you want so to go deeper? Just go not? in. Yeah, go in. What happened? Start? What happened? Uh, uh we don't have to go straight in, right? We're ten minutes in. It doesn't have to go real dark. We talk about the office a bit more if you want. No, no, it's nah, all good. Have a little drink. It doesn't have to be dark because it was just because we're in quite a good spot now. So it's not really. I don't mind reminiscing about darkness. You disip- disappeared quite noticeably. Mm. The last single I remember, and obviously I don't keep my eye on music because I'm a music broadcaster now. So keeping so. your ear on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So I keep my ears instead of my eyes. You know what I mean, sinner, massive, massive banger. Shortly after, disappear. <laughs> it did feel like well, that. Oh, I, I, I can, I can put my perspective on it. That whole record was a really odd process, which was the one previous to <laughs> the Rich one with Schultz. a um, th- that we've just released with quite a pretentious title, um, because we we kind of didn't. It it felt a lot like an exercise in just trying to write songs that would be more pleasing to people on the radio. And it didn't work. Yeah. So it, it was basically, although, although some of the songs in there I think are really yeah. good. And they've found like a different home live now. And like they're some way of heavier. Songs live. You've always done that though. Yeah, yeah. You've always like had, a, had an old song and been like bored of that now and then you change it into, what was the fucking... That's exactly it, yeah. The first track on... 
Fools and Murphy's Lies. Yeah, in which you turned, you turned it into like a flogging you turn, Molly. Yeah, cup. you turned it into like proper <laughs> dropkick Murphys. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. It's just, it is basically what you just said though. Just so you bored. tried to sell out, didn't work. No, yeah, one, no. no one bought it. Exactly. Well, so people bought it, but like it didn't do the thing that we thought it was going to do. And it just proves that when you, p- people can see through fucking, they can see through it, can't they? They, yeah. they, they know that I sat down in a room with a producer and went, let's write a pop album because yeah. they can see it. And like I said, some of the songs are good, but. But I don't believe that you didn't want to make a pop album. No, n- definitely not. Because like, you like pop music. Yeah. And at the time, I thought it was a really good idea. But like, I don't know, it was just, it was just a weird period. It sort of, that was the beginning of the end, really, I think, wasn't it? Yeah, because it, 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 it just, for me, it kind of rammed home that the record you make is kind of the space you live in for a bit as a band or an artist or whatever. And um, when that is kind of cynical, um, once you like strip everything back, it just is still it just still does feel a bit hollow and so all the touring afterwards was just hard and like it was very easy to lose heart i think i mean we we did lose heart and it also amplified like my drinking and drug taking was at an absolute peak whilst we were doing this album cycle and matty it was high before that it was very high before that but it just i've got a funny story about another time we met (laughs) (laughs) carry on but it, it got to the point where it was like I, just, I was going through a lot of shit at the time and I shouldn't have taken it out on anyone, but like it just, it was just a bad period. And it just like, it got to the point where I was just literally waking up and getting fucked. I don't remember really much of it because I was just fucked the whole time. You stank, mate. A bit. Like a bottle of vodka. Did he? Yeah. That's pretty classic. Yeah. It was like, yeah. I, it remember, was, I remember you were going to get divorced at one point because I was getting divorced. I mean, yeah, just we basically talk on the phone. We basically did. We like, <laughs> probably the way you get on. Yeah, probably all similar. similar. How's your life? Oh, it's absolutely in the dog shit. Yeah. yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Still dog shit. But yeah, that, so like, that didn't happen, but it sort of did for a bit. But yeah. we didn't really. Well, don't really need to go into that, do we? I'm sorry. But, no, that's all good. We can cut it out. No, cut it out. We're mates. Cut that, cut yeah, it out. Don't, don't cut it out. Cut it. Leave it all in, boy. Man of culture. Uh, <laughs> and then, yeah, it was just basically Matty took a lot of time off drinking and decided to like look, look after himself. <laughs> Matty took a lot of time off drinking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> no, he decided yeah. to, he basically went, I, was, I spent a lot of time with a therapist. and So, so he was sorting spent, his shit out. Spent my, my pocket money on that. Pre-COVID, so post-COVID, during COVID. Pre-COVID, like Good just, just before, before, um, they, before we had yeah, to I, zoom in. I, I absolutely hated all of it, but the fact I got like, had such a visceral reaction made me think, yeah, I should probably. Did it work? Well, I'm considerably, um, I think nicer to be around and just I but don't feel confirm is he nicer to be around I thought he was nice before but uh, so, he's, so he's not as good I'd, I'd yeah. say no he's not as good <laughs> no, I'm joking yeah. he is, he's, he's got his basically he was getting his shit together and now has his shit together just as I was literally losing my mind yeah so, just, so that, that didn't work it didn't work and we were on tour at the time it was just like it was just it was and just your chaos. brothers yeah yeah, I, just, I couldn't be asked. I just phoned it in because I was like, well, it's a bit better than being on the dole in it currently. It was chaos, basically. And then that sort of all came to a head. Like, we had a meeting in January just before COVID, 2020, I guess it would have been. Yep. And um, we basically all just decided that we didn't want to do it anymore because I, I don't think our manager, our manager came to the meeting, but I don't think he knew that we were going to basically call it a day. So I. It kind of was a surprise for him, I think. But um, yeah, we just basically decided we didn't want to do anything anymore because we just weren't enjoying it. I was just, I just, it was probably a lot of it was my fault because I was just, I just did not care about anything. I'm sure you've been in that headspace oh, before. Big time. I just couldn't be, I was just like, I just want to get as fucking drunk and whatever as I can so I don't have to l- deal with what's going on in my head, which is not oh, a healthy approach. Yeah, yeah, of course you are. <laughs> but, um, quite fun at the time. Sometimes. Sort of. There's, there's fun bits of it, but then you look back and it's like, fuck it, no. I don't, mm. I don't know how I did it. I don't know how, like, I don't know how some of those shows went ahead because I was so drunk before I played. But it, it got to the point where it wasn't even like, you could still, all the muscle memory was there, so I could still play shows. Anyway, yeah, that all happened. And then we basically didn't talk to each other for like a year. Yeah. Fell out. Yeah, I just didn't have time. Well, he fell out I, c- me, I, couldn't, I couldn't be asked if that's... Because he was a wreck. Yeah, well, it's, it's the... I, yeah, I, 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 I just, if that's how you're going to, I felt like no one had given him a boundary and I was just like, if that's how you're going to act, see you later, basically. What did he, what was the, was there a moment where? 
and just, uh, it. I, I just couldn't be asked. Uh, the the whole complete disregard for anyone else, basically, for a while, and it's just like, yeah. Don't feel good him saying that. I no, feel like fucking doesn't feel now. good. No, mm. uh, because I, I also don't think anyone was like. I don't think anyone knew how like miserable I was. Though. They were just like people just treated me like I was a like a drunk, like a drunk mess, yeah. which I was. But there's a fucking reason why. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like it's, it wasn't just I wasn't just trying to make everyone's life shit. But anyway, that sort of imploded, which was good. And then COVID happened, so we I don't know. We didn't really we didn't really post any. Well, I don't think we did post anything, did we? About nah, we just stopping. Um, just just left it because I mean there's more going on, wasn't there? Like then, I'm glad you didn't know because I see a lot of bands like who split up pre-COVID and then come back, and then they had the two years off, which we all fucking had, yeah. and then they went, you know what, should we do this again? And then they're back, and I'm like, no, nah, you should have to add another two years. Yeah, yeah. you should because yeah, yeah, we yeah, all yeah. quit. We all yeah. <laughs> yeah life yeah. stopped for two years. Yeah, that doesn't count. Well, I don't know why we decided that, but I think we had the foresight to think maybe. Just in case we want to do something again, I don't well, it was I, clever. I, I I thought it was just because we were gonna we had debts that people wanted to cash in, basically. And yeah, so it turns out when you stop at, being at a band, point, you have to pay for stuff. Yeah. So do you have what like? Well, maybe no, it was, it was it wasn't label shit or no, it was more like merch because like we it's more like merch money. I think yeah. I don't really know to be honest, but because you don't know what you owe for old shit, yeah, yeah and they basically come knocking and go oh, literally that. Like, yeah, remember this? Yeah, 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 yeah. this thirty grand of merch we yeah. gave you for a tour. Yeah, fuck, it's, it is literally that. Yeah, yeah, and even like because like the first, the first two albums were on a major label, so I think they get. I think we got like big advances which haven't recouped. Haven't recouped yeah, so it's probably stuff like that as well. Anyway, do you want to carry on, my boy? Uh, yeah, and so obviously when things started opening up again, that conversation carried on as like, look, we have to get work something out, and um, realised like if you can go out on a song or something, put something out, then that will probably help, like Generate. give it, give us a little bit of cash at the end of it. And this, I like just a couple months at the start of twenty twenty one, I'd started writing a lot, like a, a, a treating it like a job because I'd had a bunch of time off and was like, yeah, now this isn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what what I want to do, and so like um, time just, off is not what you want to do. What, what, well, just like anything else, like I, I basically spent a, that year like an, on the dole, um, and so like then like getting to the end of that and things opening up and having to address like right, what do I want to do? I realised it is make music, so I just started doing it like as a nine to five, Monday to Friday, um, and. We had like in no time a bank of songs building up and so when we came back to it I was like well I've actually written a song kind of about this and like what has happened and like trying to work out how it's happened and James and I got together and recorded that with the lovely Mike Horner in Hastings um, Beautiful and place. that went really well and has become the song 19 Dreams on the record and like three weeks later than that we had 12 songs I think we, yeah like fucking hell when was this uh, in the pandemic, uh, t- like yeah, twenty twenty one, like March and April. Yeah, but we but we but we basically we asked the other guys if they wanted to do it, and they couldn't because they had other, like during the pandemic. Well, everyone had to do other stuff, didn't they? So yeah. like, Tom's now a tattooist, which is obviously you get a shitload more money doing that than you do from being in like a. M- and he's got m- two kids. And he's got, t- he's got three, three kids now. Three kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's. Got- I was about to say many happy returns, which is the second <laughs> of his growth. <laughs> <laughs> but it also the means big birthday. <laughs> but um, yeah, like so they they were doing that, but we didn't intend. We didn't even think we were going to carry on. We thought we would just release like two songs, and then that was it. But then we it, yeah, to it, get a bit of money to pay all your debts back. Yeah, basically, or just to, to give people yeah. something to go out on. Yeah, you know? like we like we still most of the time writing the record. We didn't know what we were going to do with it. Like, um, like whether it was going to be the last thing we put out, or whether it was going <laughs> to. Now that'll have to be edited out because that's the legs for the table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, I've got a neon light. Matty just asked me why does all podcasts have a neon light? Because all good podcasts do, and I just copied yeah. what good pod- podcasts do. If you're watching this, we had a little break because my table legs turned up. You should be watching this with us round a round table, like Easier. some sort of knight yeah. of the realm. <laughs> oh. That's another one. <laughs> Third on his coat. Uh, and I've just turned the lights on so it looks a little bit better in the background. Uh, where were we on our conversation? We were talking about yeah, um, having shit. No, nah, having just like written a record basically, and uh, 
Yeah, like it, I, I don't know if our label even knew. We no, kind of did they it. Didn't. And you didn't know you split up, or you didn't know you made a it record. Didn't know yeah. we all made a record. <laughs> and um, nice. like Mike, our producer, because he's got a wicked studio at the bottom of his gut, top of his garden, actually. Um, um, <laughs> wait, it's, it's just it's up, uphill. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, 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 and yeah. so. Um, and uh, Hastings, does he live in yeah. the castle? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone does. Um, and like he basically did a lot of it on good faith. I think. Yeah, he did get paid um, for ages because. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. It was pretty, he's very nice. A top bloke and really good. Like, it was great. Like nice working environment because he'd actually thought about how he wanted his studio to be. So there's a big old window in there as mm-hmm. opposed to. Who, yeah. who played the drums on it? Yeah. Tom played the drums on it. Tom yeah. played the drums on the last record, yeah, and then Tom played. Then the you didn't ask me to join. And you've got some other motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Luke, I went, so Luke Campbell, shout If anyone doesn't know, uh, this is a nice little story. And if you're not happy with any of the details being shared, I'll edit some of the details out. Um, so we made friends at that festival, wedding festival a while ago, just because we like the office, stayed in touch or whatever. Easy. Tom Ogden has his first kid. Yeah. Bloody early, doesn't he? And yeah. you, you had two shows booked. You had Oxford Academy. And... Um, and headlining fucking headlining to the festival yeah. in 48 hours time. <laughs> now I get, I, um, I get a fucking phone call from you saying, uh, how many songs do you think what, you can What's your weekend look like? <laughs> how many songs do you think you can learn in 48 hours? And I was like, I don't know. Why? And you said, we're doing this. We're fucked. Tom's like, Tom, will, I think that it was like, Tom will do it if he has to, but he's going to miss the birth of his first child. Yeah. So I was like, at that point, I didn't have a band at that point. So I was like, fuck, I had had time off from touring. And I was like, fuck yeah, I want to do this. Learned, I think it was 18 songs. Yeah, it, was. it was 18 it was. songs. 18 songs in 48 hours. <laughs> we do the warm up show, yeah. goes fucking perfectly. Get, we're on the bus afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> Am I allowed to go down here? Yeah, okay. we're on the bus afterwards because everyone's sober now, so it's fine. We're on the bus afterwards. Someone whips out a bag <laughs> <laughs> of. Of the the uh, devil's finest, <laughs> the devil's dandruff, and uh, absolute pub grub. And I was like, <laughs> and I was like, boys, you're like, oh, I, I'll preface this. When you you told me, uh, you asked me if I could do it, and I was like, well, yeah, but I've got like three, I've got two full days of teaching, and uh, like booked in, which is going to be a lot of money, plus the stress or whatever. So you were like, how much do you want? And I gave you an outlandish figure, and then you just went, yep. Yeah, so that's probably some of the debt. Uh, <laughs> I gave you an outlandish just, figure man. and you said, yeah. So I was in Mr. Fucking Professional mode. So then we play the first show. It goes great. <laughs> On the bus, someone whips a bag out. And I was like, boys, I'm fucking working here. We've got the <laughs> headlining a festival the next day. I've only played the songs once. Uh, I'm not doing it. And then... The general consensus is, well, you will not get paid if unless, you don't you, do <laughs> unless you do this bag of coke. Off the back of an acoustic guitar. Yeah. Right but now. I, I, I also, the bit that stuck in my mind was you saying, do you want me to look 55 tomorrow? <laughs> is that what it was? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't care about the performance. Yeah. It was no, the age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember? Do you remember that photographer we had with us? You want me to look 55? That is something I would say and still say. Yeah, That's why I stopped doing cocaine. Nothing <laughs> to do with the <laughs> tragedy, detriment. the detriment yeah, to my mental yeah. health. It's actually the ageing. Yeah. The photographer, to, Ben? B- yeah, so yeah. He, he was like quite a sweet, normal, wholesome man. Didn't know what he was getting into. He literally poked his head. <laughs> he like came upstairs to open the lounge I to hang out with us. We head. were like blasting metal, doing gear off the back of a fucking acoustic guitar. And he just popped his head in and went, eh, and walked out. <laughs> <laughs> so, we were like, it's fucking awful. And then we played the festival. It was years ago. Played so. the festival. Yeah, we're all fine now. Uh, played the festival. It went fucking well. It is. It was so, like there was no mistakes. It was such a good fucking time. Thanks for having me. I think hey, I said it at the time. Brilliant. But it was like that's, that's the core fun. memory that I'll remember for fucking <laughs> ever. It, even like just like obviously the night before makes it funnier, but. Learning that many songs and doing that set. It was a fucking... Like, it was, however it many was thousand people. It was, no, it was like, yeah, it was decent. It was headline. It was yeah, decent. headline main stage festival set. That's like on my... Like, I'll never do that again. Someone, someone's going like, to... Yeah, no, no, if someone again, asks me, I'll just go, no, I'll stay at home and make a t-shirt. <laughs> Fair enough. This is going to cost you. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> For, Fucking hell. Yeah, it was good. But then I always thought I'd just secretly join your band and then yeah. I didn't. Well, I, I sort of always thought that as well. But then I I wonder, I think it was because like you just, you were just, well, you started doing this sort of stuff mm. as we needed a drummer. And I was like, Craig's fucking miserable. 
He's like... We don't need another one. Similar. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Probably what we get on. Similar. Five. Five. Um, I was like, Craig's fucking miserable. He probably makes way more money doing what he's doing than he's going to do if he comes on tour with us because I'm fucking broke. So I'm sure he doesn't want to be. And I think I just sort of dismissed it. Can I do it if current... Got, what's I his was name? Gonna, Luke. Luke Campbell. Luke Campbell. Yeah, he's, Apparently he's really good. He's Unbelievable. Yeah. Who did he play for? He doesn't really... He plays for... He's in about 20 bands. Like, yeah, he, he, he... Oh, one of those people that loves music. He, yeah. jo- he, 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 he I mean? jobs around Brighton a lot. But like he, he... This guy called Howard Kay supported us um, in, ages ago. In like our last tour before we... And Luke was the drummer. So apologies about that. We sort of stole him. Yeah, I said funny. it at the time. I was like... We're going to have it. you on him. If he has a kid, can I come back? Yeah, no, I was going to say that. You can, well, I not even if he has, everyone <laughs> becomes... Not even if he has a kid, but if he... Like, we've already played a show where he couldn't play because he had to do something well, else. Well, who did that? <laughs> <laughs> not you. Oh, that's right. a, that's how low you've gone. It's not that. It, oh. It's nothing to do with that. I just... Wow. It was I just... Do, I'll do it tonight. How long we got? <laughs> how many songs are you learning? Four hours. Well, I know, the beauty is, I, I know a lot of the old stuff still. Mm, yeah, yeah. Not, we don't. We don't. Yeah. <laughs> don't you? Nah. What have you re- repurposed? Uh, um, n- nothing, really. Kind of just There's an old song called Anemophobia that me and him do a little synth yeah. version of. And then you just play new shit? No. We play... Uh, we, we play one song from 2013 and everything else is 2017 onwards, pretty much. Yeah. Just so you don't play anything... Or oh, Fools and Muffers like this. <sighs> no. Do they hate that? But I've seen Not Roundhouse really. was fucking rammed. It was Roundhouse last night. It was banging. Yeah, it was really good. No, it was two, two nights ago. Absolutely fucking rammed. Mm. To be fair, every show's been like fucking rammed. Yeah. Which is even though you're not playing I don't think they I care. I guess they're over it now. I guess it's been a long time. And we're playing I mean, like I, a, I remember when Old Souls came out. Yeah. So we played one song of Old Souls. They weren't very happy. No, they weren't very happy. Was that it's weird how they just forget, don't they? I don't know. No, actually I am happy it's now. Fickle. Well, the the thing Old that Souls is fucking wicked. I know. Thank you very much. First record. Don't worry about it. Um, the, the thing I always think is the albums aren't going anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> Have a listen yeah, to that yeah, if you want, mate. Like, just don't listen to this one. Wait till the next one. It'll probably be different. Like, um, so. But well, that's that's actually what, um, when you played with us was one of the, the last times we would have done friends like these. Mm. Oh, shit, did we play that? And oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> obviously. Uh, listen, you employ me for a bit of session work. There's a blast, blast beat going. Yeah. It might as well be in the worst song in the set. Um, yeah. But like, because people always you see it online, or like we did see it online, people saying like, I'm playing this movie. And then you want to do that again? Yeah. <laughs> 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 I, I just that, that surely that's how everyone who goes on Twitter speaks. Yeah, speaks. yeah. Well, you didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm playing this, playing this. Man. man, call the council, man. But um, uh, right, let's get off that bit. Uh, and, <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, um, uh, and and then you do it, and you realise there's like one person in the crowd who's up for it, and you're like, well, oh, well, oh so we did that for nothing. We yep. didn't enjoy that. That's us. And for, one person enjoyed that. That's so. us with Damien, right. Negative and Violent, all of those songs. Just like one person goes, play this, and then the next tour we go, you know what, we'll play it. That Not one person's happy. Yeah, 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 no yeah, one yeah. else. Yeah, yeah, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what. I'm, so yeah, that's kind of. But putting a fucking set together is actually really hard now because we've got so yeah. many albums I don't, and I just don't know what to play. The only thing that you can do is add more time to the set. But that's... Me- like which is our set now is an hour and 20 minutes or something without talking. That's mental. It's good Without though. talking? It's yeah. an hour and 20 minutes. Oh, fuck that. We just did an hour and I was like, I don't think I'm ever going to do this again. I don't think I'll ever do it again. Yeah. Weirdly, it doesn't feel that long, though. But so that sort of means we're enjoying it, I guess. Yeah, and we, we, we've it's, it's quite a good set. It took us a little while to get to where it is, but it's got a nice flow on it. And yeah, I feel like you, you, you've you got the scope for flow. Well, that, that's... like us, doesn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, do I, I play the acoustic song, dude? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? I'm beating someone over the head with it. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah but... I, I think a band like yours doesn't necessarily need to play that long because God, when I, if I go and see like well, yeah. a hardcore band, I don't really want them to play for an hour and a half unless it's like. Also, no, no, I don't. also, if mm. you if you you know appropriately moving for that amount of time, you'll have a cardiac arrest. Like, yeah. I, I if, if this, you're doing it for an hour and a half, I said this the other day. We we toured with um, Devil Wears Prada, mm. and they played for an hour and thirty two minutes. That's Shrek too. That is like, literally imagine that you is put amazing. Shrek 2 on and you just go nuts for the whole movie until the end and then, then you stop. That is, ma- I mean, actually thinking about it and how intense the drums are for basically every single song you have, I don't know how you do it for well, that. Well, I don't, 
but don't. It just gets progressively worse as the tour goes on and as the sets go on. Because we've got shitloads of breaks. Like some of the songs, Luke's literally just hitting a kick drum. Like we've got so many breaks in it. So it's like. Give me that job. Okay, you, would, you, you would enjoy it. Everyone who's a fan of the podcast who listened to the last five episodes, but he's really not happy. You <laughs> <laughs> get a fucking a bookmaker just being like, you want to play the fucking bets on this? If anyone's listening from a huge band who just has kick on two and four, <laughs> kick on two and four, that'd be fucking weird. <laughs> reggae? Yeah, yeah it's reggae. reggae. <laughs> uh, music joke there, guys. Reggae. Uh, if any reggae bands listening, <laughs> <laughs> you need a drummer for kicks on two and four. I'm there. It took me ages to realise why I couldn't do a reggae beat, and then it, I realised the kick's where the fucking snare should be. It's Brilliant. fucking sick, bro. Brilliant. Brilliant. Oh, I love yeah, it. yeah. And then you start, and then you start, you stuck a reggae beat in something. Yeah, I no, remember, I remember having trigger. to learn it. Yeah, trigger. <laughs> no, it's a bit, uh, what, <laughs> is that a soaker? I don't know what it is, mate. I should know, I've got a degree in music. Have you? I yeah. haven't. I oh, just got me, uh, got a degree in music, make most of my money from talking into a fucking microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Fair play. Yeah. Did teach me how to speak to the other people that I need. Right. Yeah. 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 Don't yeah. worry about it. Oh, Thanks. Right. All right, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. All right, we're done. But yeah, brilliant. We're not done. We're not, not done. Really, nowhere near done. Nah. How long has this tour got? Did you do Europe first? Yeah. Yeah. Which is well, weird. It's, it's basically oh. just Germany. That's like, what I was going to more was going to go to next. Like, how does... And I, uh, this is it's going to sound offensive at first. <laughs> go on. But we're mates. Yeah. That's the how does Death of Anna do outside of the UK? Because there was a time when there was all these massive bands... The, the, the bands that headline slam dunk that aren't American. Yeah. Right. I know. And they did absolutely <laughs> fucking like four people outside of the yeah, UK. Yeah. All that I could, I could list them. I'm not going to throw them under the bus. But the perception in the UK is that they're the biggest band in the fucking world. Yeah. And so, then. It's Michael McIntyre, isn't it? They go, Michael, Mac Mac yeah, Michael McIntyre, yeah. Biffy Clyro, you know, there's loads of these bands who there do is. absolutely fucking zero people outside of the UK. But people in the UK think. They're, They're the biggest thing on fucking earth. And I feel like, with all due respect, you were that. Yeah, we probably were, to be honest. But We, we were for a long time. We, I, I still don't really know how we do outside of Germany, but uh, in Germany we've started doing all right over like the past we, like we sold, five years or so. Like the last, So the last Cologne show we played before this tour was probably 300 and it didn't sell out. And this one was 500 and it sold out. So it's definitely getting bigger, but we've got we've got loads of songs. Well, not loads of songs. We've got two songs that are on the radio, like daytime on radio, heavy rotation every yeah. single day in Germany. In German, the ones the in German, the German language. language. Do yeah, yeah, the yeah, German yeah, yeah. language. Ones, yeah, but um, so it's definitely picking up there. But we did for, for for I think we progressed to quite big London shows quite quickly. So even the rest yeah. of the UK didn't catch up with London, and it still doesn't really, which is weird. But um, ah, oh, you did Rock City. Roundhouse. Yeah. To be fair, what there's, there's a lot of people. We That's did WG3. the G3. They're all. We the did the, the academy in Manchester, and that was pretty on this. Pretty yeah, like a couple of nights ago. That yeah. was fucking mental. That was. Yeah. That felt bigger than the Roundhouse. Yeah, which was weird. But um, we we just started doing quite well in Germany. But other than that, now nah, we don't really. Well, we pull more than four people, but it's not like no four. Yeah, four is uh, like, no. But I've seen bands like you're on about, and they yeah. literally no one. But we're, which is like we'll do a few hundred everywhere now. In yeah. Germany, which is like even weird little, but like towns, even when we were playing nice. in like we played in like Thailand before we broke up, and we there was like five hundred people there, four hundred people there. Um, I, I reckon that's the old um, fog of being drunk at the time. There was, was a it, lot it was, of people. It's about one hundred and fifty. Was there? Yeah, but also not that many people go, so a lot of people yeah. go to the shows to just yeah. be like, "What the fuck? This band's from fucking the UK. Yeah. Let's have a little look at that. What are you doing here?" Yes. That's it. Six. <laughs> <laughs> Quote six. Um, yeah, because a, a lot of bands, not naming any names, but I've already named their name. Earlier, in a way. In a way. Um, <coughs> they they see the success not transfer over. Particularly America, it's a lot fucking harder. Yeah, yeah. I mean, um, we don't but know anything then, in America. But then they like, just deliberately don't do anything. There. Is that, are you like, is America out? Um, I, I'm definitely not. It's just got to make. We just haven't done sense it. financially. Yeah, yeah so visas are so fucking expensive, and, and especially now it's like it's mad. But I, I think we have just neglected it a bit. We've only re we've only done one tour in America. I know that, that was long around. and it was hard and and dog shit. Um, yeah. There was a period of time where we had people who instead of going, look, you can do this, but you're going to be this much money, um, like 
in the hole for it. Yeah. Um, they just went, yes. Basically, mm. basically you should have okay. fucking listened to me and him. Because we were was like, it? this is bollocks. I've just looked up the venue sizes. They're fucking shit. Was it a headliner? No, it was supporting Ash. Remember, remember them? Yeah. Didn't know they did. No one in America in. remembers them. Yeah, I was going to say, I didn't think they did well in... I what they've done is they've taken two of those type of bands, and what you should have done is have a US band. <laughs> Big US. You must have friends in the US. Like, you must be people but in then, US bands that love their band. Like, like we're they're all in metal bands. <laughs> yeah, why? So we can't... Why do we love American them? metal bands fucking love us. Yeah. Like, I don't know why. <laughs> But um, like, like we had a few small headline shows as well, and they were actually pretty good. They were better. Um, and the the real tragedy of it, we were away for like six What's weeks tragedy? in uh, 20, 2014, I think. Um, yeah, yeah. And it was in, obviously in um, January and February, so it's fucking freezing. For, for most of it, absolutely freezing. <coughs> um, and we got the, the, the last show we were meant to do was in... New York, and I'm pretty sure sold out we, headline we, we show. sold out a really small headline show, and we got snowed in in Harrisburg, and oh, couldn't get there, no. and like to the point where you could sit in the lobby and see the guy with a snowplow going around and like clearing out the front, and as like just directly out front of the door, and as soon as he'd done the whole car park, it was it was time to start again. Like Fuck me. it was just like well, there's no chance of us getting there. Unfortunately, I think that tour warped our opinion of America a bit mm. because. Having been back many times since, I fucking love it. Yeah. But we just were so miserable on that tour. And I was, we I got was, back, I was like, fuck America. Were you, never were, you in a, were you in a van? In yeah, a yeah, van. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The was, drives were mental. Yeah. Like, was I was, they would do it. If your mental state's in a bad Yeah, it was, it was insane. I was 20 as well. So and you couldn't even drink. Very, very strict on the old carding. Um, you couldn't even go in. There was a venue we played in yeah, Seattle. Yeah, it I, wasn't I, even allowed I, in apart from when we played. We walked in. Was it El Corazon? Um, it was nice. called like the track, the tractor something in Seattle, um, and Good like memory. Like, yeah, yeah. We we, we well I was sober, weren't I? Um, <laughs> we, 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 we walked in and the, like five minutes after like trying to set our stuff up, some geezer in a high vis comes in and goes, "Where's the miner?" And it's just like, oh, oh. brilliant! Like get stamped, P- pedo. Was it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, carry yeah. on. Um, and, but yeah, I, I, li- I literally just had to sit in a van. What if I was allowed to play the show and that was it? So what? What an inconvenient way to get out of loadout, basically. But, um, <laughs> nice. Yeah, it um, was, but it was it was berserk. It was dog just, shit. Yeah, there was some good. Da- we had, do- looking back, there was actually mo- probably more good days than bad days. But yeah. the bad days were so fucking yeah, shit yeah. that it just yeah. warped my yeah. opinion of the whole time. Um, but we had some. There was some good. Da- like we basically just got pissed off and had a good laugh. Well, you didn't. Man. Yeah, you did. Well, I did in Nashville. Legally, I, I, I found I found a dive bar in Nashville where no one was asking Full questions. Off. So I was like, "You can do what you want. I'm going to sit here and just drink until I fall off this stool," which I did. <laughs> <laughs> but I, but I, <laughs> I've got some visualization of that. However, I wasn't the first. There was the tour manager from Ash was the first. no, 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 the bass player. <laughs> Wait, are you all falling off stools? Like, I, actually, I, I didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I, I mean, the, I it was the the round was a. a a bourbon, a shot of fireball, and a beer each. Nice. Sounds nice. It, it was, was, nice, it was actually. nice, actually. Yeah. The so so America's out. Now, no, when, America's when, definitely not out. When you do, uh, it's so annoying. The weird thing about touring is like when it's good, it is the fucking best thing yeah. on earth. Uh-huh. Like you can't like. Some people will die not knowing what that feels like, yeah. which is crazy. It's like it's better than any fucking drug on earth. Yeah. Like good shows, good shows, good hanging are out, insane. good like travel, bus, what a bandwagon, whatever. Yeah, like yeah. good friends, meeting new people, good food. It's like people would pay tens of thousands for that experience. It can but be then, amazing, yeah. but then when it's bad, and it might be because the good is so good. When it's bad, it feels like fucking prison. It's it's inexplicable, isn't it? When it's that bad, like it, it genuinely. Th- this is going to sound really dark, but the amount of times I've just been like contemplating how I'm going to kill myself. Yeah, or you sit there yeah. and you like, uh, and and I mean that in a serious way. Yeah, I I I have it. It's I, insane. I know Brendan has it as well from counterparts. Yeah, where I'll be in my bunk if I'm having a bad time. I'll be in my bunk and I'll be like, and this is a fucking horrible thing to say. Hope the bus crashes. Like, Hope the bus crashes. Yeah, me too. There was a fucking. Southeast Asia tour, which on paper I fucking love it every time I go there. Yeah, yeah. But it was booked like it often is there. It is. It was booked. Fly in, sound check, 
play the show, yeah, fly out, out, sound check, play the show yeah, with did. no time for sleeping. Yeah, we did a couple of those. And there was times, it got to like maybe day three or whatever, because we'd just done Australia and Japan before, which was a heaven. And then Southeast Asia, if you had a day off, would be heaven. And then I would be the plane would be landing, and I, it would be a bumpy landing. And I'd be like, oh, "Fuck, fuck, find me." Actually, in my sweet, head. yeah, it's oh, I can death. rest. I'm going to rest. In well, it's like the, the, uh, I'm going to rest forever. Shortly, yeah, didn't happen the, in the, the end. The, Had to yeah. let him go. <laughs> he, was he was rubbish. He was rubbish. Nine. <laughs> um, but uh, the the, fi- the thing for me is what what makes it difficult is the the lack of personal space. Basically, after a bit, yeah. unless you're obviously in a massive band like when we played with Kings of Leon and they literally had a, a separate car each had a, waiting for them yeah. in the back. Is this in America? Doors open. No, we did it in Europe, Germany. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they, um, like, we had one day off and they flew home on a private plane for one day. Yeah, yeah. Wow. And they came back. I wonder if they can still do that now. Yeah, not, probably. Not, not climate shaming. Really? Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. They were bloody um, nice, actually. But like, th- that's, that's the bit I really struggle with um, because... If Even on a bus tour? Just like... No, it's every, You're always under someone's feet basically and I mean like, the I, bus the bunks are literally centimetres away from each other yeah so you're always so close you can still shut the thing and have a yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah I can't burn through that many socks no, um, <laughs> are you a sock wanker yes uh, I'm, no, I'm not no it, despite, I think it's very much an, an American thing I just think I, I, I don't want to yeah, I put I want to get athletes <laughs> yeah, no, that's what I think about as well <laughs> obviously I don't think it works like that but that's <laughs> you can get a yeast infection though in your feet and in your cock. Ath- athletes cock. Yeah. yeah fair. That's something else. Yeah. <laughs> athletes cock. Yeah. Uh, if I was one of those people that would have the title would be just like a quote from the episode, it'd be athletes cock. Obviously, obviously, that would obviously. be it. Brilliant. That, Brilliant. That, that'd ruin the title of your next record. So Yeah. So yeah. I don't I don't struggle as long as I've got a bunk that mm. isn't. From, from preface that it isn't a fucking it, made a out sprinter. of wood, like an actual bus bunk. Yeah, and I think, uh, I think when you guys get a US tour in a bandwagon or a bus, it will be. It just changes everything. Someone else is driving. You wake up. I would love city to my do in, that. Oh, I've seen, my entire life. I've seen this city in this movie. This movie. And you just wake up. Yeah, and yeah. Just fucking I would love it. to do. Like I, America's definitely not out. I just want to do it. I would, the dream is to support a big American band, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. And do it well. But Who I would mean, be the dream one? I don't know. Come on. I mean, I've got a whole dream festival segment starting in 15 minutes, so don't blow, you, okay, your, don't blow your load I, on it. But I love all that. Call comes in tomorrow because of this. I mean, I don't... Yeah, it will be because of this. Who, so. Who's the... Who do you want? Oh, fuck me. I don't know. The, the, pr- the thing is, the ones that I want, probably their f- fans wouldn't give a shit about us anyway. I, I genuinely think Kings of Leon is one of them. Yeah. Because... Yeah, well, that's that's well, not... We've already done that a bit, but, th- I mean, that is... I always said, like, maybe that was because at the time we, I wrote a couple of songs that sounded a bit like Kings of Leon, but um, I don't know. That I mean, that's a pretty good one. Their fans are, like, really open to any kind of music. We We would play the appropriate songs, you know? Yeah. I don't know, really. I don't really know. Cause we, I mean, that, I don't think that's out there. I thought you were going to say something like fucking Gojira. <laughs> well, that's not going to work. That'd be mental. That's not going to work. Um, fun. Uh, uh, Some sort of weird <laughs> ATP like curated yeah, <laughs> lineup. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Death of Anna, Mono, uh, Gojira. Excellent. <laughs> I'd go. So I'd yeah, I. fair. I'd have to. You, you're playing. You going with Kings of Leon as well? A dream yeah, US I, I, tour. I, I, I think that'd be one with my sensible head on. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Basically, the dream one is. It's probably not a band like Kings of Leon, actually, because their fans are, like, older and they know what they like. It's probably, like, a little young... No, you ain't getting a bus for that. Yeah. No, I don't, I, don't, I don't mean I little want you shows. Have a nice time. I mean, like, really famous young artists whose fans just love anything they hear. Do you know what I mean? Like no, if you're, 1975. That'd be good. Yeah, that'd be fucking perfect. Yeah. But, I mean, I've asked Ross about a million times and he's basically just blanked me so I used to play FIFA with Ross during the pandemic I didn't even know it was him until someone we had like a FIFA group chat <laughs> yeah, with loads of people love. he's a bass player <laughs> with lo- <laughs> loads of people in it and then like, I'm playing him one day I'm like like on the voice chat like, so what do you do he's like I'm playing it man what's your band other 1975 <laughs> oh, and I'm like it's hard for me to because I've been friends with Ross for ages and like he's like I, I love him but like he's just a normal bloke it's hard for me to 
see him as the same person who plays on stage in that fucking massive band. It's, it's weird. It is, it is it's weird, isn't it? Because he comes to our gigs. At, like, we played a shitty little gig at, in London at the Lafayette, which was a tiny venue. He just come, He comes to all of our gigs. It's, it's just quite weird. It is it's funny. good, though. I like to see... Yeah. I like to see... <laughs> Normal. I mean, everyone's a normal person, but like people I know, be like, "Fuck me, hey, they're doing well." Yeah, good. Yeah, it's good for him. Good yeah. for him. Not, not a quote, but <laughs> no, could be. Could yeah, be. <laughs> in the, delivered in the style of a quote. Well, that's the beauty of it. I had another thing to say about about the US tour thing, but I can't remember. It. I'm fucking terrible at this. Terrible at this bro- broadcasting. <laughs> that is it. That's you, the beauty you of it. Great, mate. Oh no, it was good. Where were we? Uh, you said. Wait till you do a proper one in a bus or a bandwagon. That was the last yeah. thing you said. I just want... I can't go back from that. No, nope. I can't go back. Brilliant. I won't go back. Waste of time. They're like, oh, we've got this, it's a van tour. I'll be like, oh, this, yes, yes. Come back. You remembered it. If, <laughs> if I wanted people to be like, oh, he's a really good podcast, I'd edit that out. So it's like, oh, that was seamless. But really, I want everyone to know I'm just a fucking guy. Yeah. A this is achievable. and credit card debt. Yeah. Um, here's a hypothetical. Because Death of Anna... Is you two mm-hmm. right? Correct. Now, Correct. Going to the states. If anyone doesn't know, let's assume you you get a one year P one or P two visa. It is you're looking at fifteen hundred to two grand in the hole. Yeah, per person. Per person. Yeah, unless you get an O one and some sponsors, but the O one is six grand plus some sponsors. You're talking to take a full band. You're fifteen to twenty grand in the hole before you've even fucking stepped anywhere. Yeah, but which is mental. You guys are now technically the two of you. Mm. Would you employ US musicians to make it cheaper <laughs> and have... sell your band out? No, but they're not. It's you guys. They're essentially, I guess, they're session musicians. Would you do that? Because that's what I'd fucking do. Potentially. There's, there you go. He's a businessman. What do you think of that manager? Who's the manager? Just, uh, just stick the CD in. I <laughs> didn't think of that. Stick the CD on. Put, no, you can't do that. Put, you need to just get put, a couple put, of. Put, put, well, put didn't a couple you of say you've got an O one? Punk it. Yeah, I've got an O one. I'll do it. Oh yeah, shit. You're trying to worm your way into our band anyway. So no, I didn't. I didn't even think of that. Worm yeah, your, your way out. Of it, I've got really? two years left on that. Brilliant. Expect yeah, to save you money <laughs> and spend that money on me. <laughs> Plus, if it was on a bus with Kings and Leon, I'll do it for free. <laughs> well, it you, won't be. You heard it here first. <laughs> uh, during the pandemic, other than crippling, you were on the dole. Yeah. You were cripplingly depressed and drunk. Yeah. Did you do anything else? Mm. Learn any new hobbies? Like everyone had I like t- a Yeah, I did. What did I, you do? I didn't know how to record music before. Fuck that. off. I didn't know how to You record. didn't do any demo in before? Yeah, I did it on my iPad on GarageBand. Yeah, that's that was, and now you do it on. No, I know how to logic. use logic. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, 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 but I didn't know how to do anything. I didn't even know how to like edit. I, how did you learn it? Just taught myself. Watched nerds on YouTube. Yeah, isn't it mad how good it's YouTube amazing. is for that? It's anything amazing. Anything in the world, you go. How do you do? How do you do that? The best, and then the best person is always on. There's not like some secret best person no, in no, like no. fucking the deepest jungles of Africa no. who can do everything better. No. The best person, there might be. Fucking come for me. <laughs> uh, the best person they don't have electricity there I imagine now I'm digging myself a hole yeah you are I'm, uh, not, I'm not saying anything that's fine now <laughs> <laughs> Ricky Gervais do you want to be mates <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually do want to be mates but like the the best person at anything in the world top, is top on is, is on YouTube with the most views so you can just there's a, like a there's a thing like uh, philosophers are talking about and like scientists are talking about about how like human evolution is going so fucking fast because you can look at the best person at anything yeah and just get better at it yeah so then it's not like an actual evolution thing but like an evolution of the human brain like the levels are just going up and up and up yeah it's mental just, if you put your mind to it you can just go who's the best person at that okay I'm just all I've got to do is be better than that yeah so you looked at the best person for recording and now you're better than them. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Almost certainly not. But um, I definitely got from being shit to being good in a pretty short it's space sick, of time. What about you, other than... Just got you're just right. writing. You just, just told me you wrote just, fucking an, yeah. an album in... You basically wrote the album. <laughs> just got all right at cooking, I think. Is it? Yeah. yeah. What's your favourites? I love a bit of cooking. Just, just, I, love it. I, I, I just I love eating. Can't stop. Eating. Yeah, that's, that's why I've got into running to try and 
counteract how much I can eat. Oh, I've got no time for running. Good for you, but I've got no time for it. It's so yeah. boring to me. I wish I liked yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. No, it is. I know so many people who do it. And you like, love oh, it, though. I yeah. love it. Oh, for the freedom, the brain. It's, like, it's, it's really good for your heads. That's why I... Is it good for your legs, though? Because every time I run, I've got to I get sore shins. Yeah. Well, what shoes are you wearing? And are you stretching properly? No. Nope. Yeah, that. All right. Okay. Uh, what you, what you been cooking? Uh, well, just... This is where the, the old brain goes blank. But, um... Well, right, let's let me everything. let me let me. I, I I got so what you're on about about watching YouTube videos. Yeah, that's see. kind of what I did. And there's one fella who his channel basically shows you how to make um, British Indian restaurant curries. Oh wow! And he's I, like and so, really so good I was at like, curries. all right, if if I just go to Taj in Brighton and spend like twenty quid on all the right spices and seeds and everything in like a one-off bang, I can just kind of throw together anything at this point and make it. Pretty decent. What's your That's go-to like a, to make? Well, like I, I, I make make either a paneer or like a chicken jal frazy sort of thing. Um, Banging, and it's like I've got to a point where it's pretty good. And I am just gonna have a shout out. The best compliment I ever received was so my fiance's sister-in-law, um, her family is Indian, and she said her grandmother would eat that, and I was wow. like, get in. Yeah. Can really I ask really? you? Can I ask you something? <laughs> Who's your tampons? <laughs> Quote nine. As yeah. long as we get to ten, I'm fine. That's ten. Um, is that ten? I think so. Fucking hell. Yeah. Um, I'm up. really sorry, everyone. Uh, but watch the UK office and ignore. Just think of it as two separate entities. Yeah. Also, Stephen Merchant carries it. Anyway, to me, they're not mutually exclusive. <laughs> ten. No, oh, eleven. We're on eleven. Um, now I've forgotten what I was going to fucking yeah, say. Yeah, yeah. No. <laughs> can I ask you something? How do you do your nans then? Because a well, fucking I'd, a shop bought naan sucks. Yeah. Compared well, I, to I got okay at making rotis basically, and so I'd do that instead from Just, scratch. Yeah, fucking hell! I want to come down and have a little fucking. It's long. Time. It's, I I really enjoy the. It's, but the, I, I, I like I've, that with cooking. I, I think it helps my brain to just like do things bit by bit, and then th- there's something quite um, poetic. Oh god, I sound like a wanker. Um, in, you look in, like Frank Zappa, in, so you can say whatever you want. Yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, no, there's there's something that feels quite poetic about um, taking all these separate things and like putting them together and making having something to yeah. made at the end of it. If you know so what I mean. I've had this conversation with many other people. I made you a lovely coffee before this, right? Mm-hmm. I think that there's a massive correlation with music mm-hmm. and food, coffee, yeah. bougie, bu- bougie alcohol, not necessarily based on the, the yeah. boozing. I have a theory of why that is. Why do you think that is? Uh, I, I, firstly, do you agree with I don't, I 100% agree with it. I think because it's also creative. You're, you're, it's just, what Matty just described is essentially how you write a song, taking all these different elements and putting them together and making something better. Mm. And for me, like... I don't know if this goes, it seems to go hand in hand. Like I'm incredibly neurotic and like I have a lot of, it's not really OCD, but like some stuff and cooking and stuff like that, like helps me calm down. Stuff. Nothing, I'm just, I just stress, I get stressed about like weird stuff. Like, I don't know, like if that's not, I don't know. I mean, that's OCD. Stupid stuff like that. <clears throat> it's not, an, it's not to the point where it like ruins my life because I know some people have yeah. it nah, so you do, bad. You do your own job with that. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> that's the drinking. Always like this, isn't it? Like Vic and Barb and another one. One extra one. Twelve. If you're going to do it, do it right. Twelve. Is it one extra one? Yeah. Oh, Get off the quote. This was good. That was I a calm. Uh, um, yeah, I think because it's creative and it like, but it calms me down and like it makes my, it just takes my mind off like miserable stuff. What's <laughs> your take? Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I guess that it does. It has definitely performed that function for me, and it's a little bit of control, I suppose, that you can have over a little bit and. Um, but I, I just I like the paraphernalia of stuff. Like I really enjoy making a coffee and hand grinding beans so, and things like that because I like the bits that go towards making something. If you know what I mean. Yeah. So in and that one's me. Bang it though. That was <laughs> marimbas in Paris. <laughs> <laughs> um. So that's actually the name of the ringtone. Um. My thought on it. Like what you were saying with mm. the different bits of the different paraphernalia involved in cooking, like having a nice pan or whatever, yeah. is like having a, a nice guitar. vintage guitar. You know, do you know what I mean? So there's that scratch that gets itched, mm-hmm. but 
But then also for me in particular, like well, we were having a little conversation off the record before this about like, why the fuck do you write hard drum parts? Because when you get them right, it feels fucking good. Yeah. Like the dopamine, I think there's a risk to reward involved yeah. in like making food or making a coffee. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you don't, which is not always necessarily fucking healthy. Like when you, when I fuck like, I made your coffee before this. If I fuck a shot of espresso up, it's the same feeling in my brain as when I fuck up a fill. Mate, if I cook food that I really don't think is that good, it makes me so um, angry. Yeah. So uh, it, it's, this this is really funny. Um, one of our very good friends, Mr. Ricky Layfield, I'll give him a shout out, um, always brings up the time James made a burger, got angry and threw it at the wall. <laughs> I've got anger problems. <laughs> Threw the burger yeah. at the wall. <laughs> it wouldn't stay it's not the burger's fault, mate. It wouldn't <laughs> stay together, so I got really pissed. I was like, fuck, sake, and just slammed it against the wall. But yeah, I don't do that anymore. I don't do that anymore. But I do get really annoyed if it's not. It actually annoys me. Yeah, more. I'd, I'd Say if I fuck up something on stage, that annoys me way less than if I yeah. fuck up food. Yeah. Yeah, I just get I don't upset. Know why. Yeah. Maybe because there's an external stress, so you can think of yourself a bit more like. I'm sweaty or whatever. Yeah. Not sweaty cooking. Yeah, you might be. Fucking making the rotis, making all the fucking <laughs> shit. Yeah. Sweat, sweating his ass off. Yeah, boy. Yeah. Uh, and then the same with coffee, like the, the different... Being able to identify the different, like, textures Beans. and tastes in the coffee is sort of like being able to identify... This is getting super hippie now. Identify, like, well, that's... A, what harmony are they doing there? Do you know what I mean? No, I it's totally like, agree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's synergy. It's, yeah, so it's, it's it, no. well for me. It's the kind of thing that like I've begun to appreciate coffee in particular a lot more as I've got older. And I guess that's just the more you get into stuff. And so once you start being aware of that, it's annoying. Then you though, can enjoy it on that level, if you know what I mean. Um, and that is what disappeared when I had COVID. Um, Same. My, I it tasted like I drank coffee backwards, if you know what I mean. And all I got was the bitter yeah, end. Yeah. Yeah. Good song, oh, placebo. placebo. And then <coughs> trying to get them on here. They're playing down the road today. No, like in a couple of weeks. Or, our manager, is, Brian. Yeah, we, we our manager, manager is their manager. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I want Brian to sit there. It's literally a. F- I'm not going to dox favorite. myself, but it's he could walk here. Yeah. Um, I had something else to say, but now, yeah, please do that for me. Okay. Cool. <laughs> I mean, can't guarantee it'll happen. <laughs> that's fine. I can tell him I fancied him when I was a kid, but I'm straight. So that's weird, isn't it? No, I, yeah. I agree with you. Yeah. I fancied him when I, I was a kid. But I'm straight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah. It's good. Androgynous. Yeah. Androgyny. That is the I fucking love yeah. placebo. Yeah, the best. Like, insane. I feel like they picked, they took them a while um, to take, to like, like, pick up in America. Same thing, but they did it. I know mm. loads of people in America that love them. Really? I remember yeah. when they were massive here. Yeah. They that was years ago. That's like yeah. when I was at school. Yeah, like 99. Yeah, yeah. they were massive here. 90s famous. Yeah. Back in the day when I fancied Brian Molko, <laughs> they weren't massive in America. <laughs> um, just like that, we're going to do a dream festival. We're just got something to plug. Uh, Nothing. Everything's already out. The tour will be over by the time this comes out. Yeah. yeah. You've got more tours booked? Probably yeah, not. Just the Kings of Leon. Just the Kings of Leon US tour. <laughs> just, the, just, just the pipe dream. Yeah. Um, yeah, put the energy out. We are under a big pentagram. There's a bunch of books on actual black magic in here. Excellent. Sure we can make something fucking happen. Right. Fair enough. I'm keen. Um, but yeah, no, it's, I, I think there's there's a conversation ongoing about future gigs because uh, there will be. It's a good idea. Well, what will happen is if they've been announced by the time this comes out, you'll tell me, and I'll, I'll have already said it at the beginning of the podcast. Really? As long with that sponsor, you should all be checking now. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so if you don't know, there's a part of the festival which I didn't do with Architects. Cause part it, of the festival? A, a part of the podcast. Good. Start that again. No, I'm not going to start again. <laughs> no. There's a part of the podcast, end of the podcast, where I do a dream festival. It's truly a dream festival, right? Yeah, I'm okay. going to run you through it before you go, I'm on the, you know, this on the palooza. Right. <laughs> hey, I'm do you gonna, know who you're talking I'm, to? I'm going to run you through it. But people got annoyed. I didn't do it with architects because there's two of them and it was it, it would have taken too long, mm. basically. But then people, so many people got annoyed with it because it's now, basically, I took off menu, made it musical and stole it. And now it's Easy. the best part of the podcast and people were unhappy. Weird, weird that that podcast worked then, isn't it? Like, yeah. yeah. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> uh, so what are we going to do? So you can confer. You don't have to give me the same answer. All right. How many days is the festival? That's not part of it. I mean, that comes in, but the first, I've got a system. Okay. All right. All right. The only rule is that Deaf Havana is playing. Right. Okay. So that... First on, then. That, yeah, early. So we're that, first on. We're, we're we'll be get out of the way. You're That's first on. Second on. Second on. Yeah. Okay, we're going to get to that. What country is the festival in? 
Ooh, that uh, is such a good question. Mine, mine Thank would be in Germany because I re- actually no, no Mexico. No, no, no. In Mexico. Anywhere. In Mexico. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, second, yeah. second one in a row to be yeah. in Mexico, yeah. Jesse from Stick Your Guns. So. Yeah, 100%. He, uh, anyway, he said Mexico City. Yeah, yeah I was, yeah, I was yeah, just yeah. going to say Mexico City. Mexico City. Basically, Corona Capital. Yeah. <laughs> that yeah. festival. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so we're there. But with a German backstage. No, with a backstage yeah, area. We're, from getting, we're getting to Mad that. Cool. See, from we're, we're, get, we're getting to that. It's all part of the okay. things. But um, so countries know Mexico. you're on board, right? Because yeah. what it is, usually it takes people a while and they, they're trying to think what's reasonable and what's logical. Take and then out. there's a moment where it becomes musical Dungeons and Dragons. Yes. And they go, well, actually. And I'm like, okay, but I can see that you're on board already. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, what's your accommodation? Woo! Um, an insane like f- house with a pool infinity pool oh, infinity pool like infinity pool how on, far on mountain, from the festival um, just a sort of 15 minute drive nice and yeah the accommodate I don't know what do you say yeah ma- mansion with infinity pool sounds good yeah, mansion yeah. with yeah. That's, that sounds good comfy beds yeah. Because usually what happens with the, sometimes people go oh I don't like camping so I'll just be on the bus I'm like it's your dream fucking festival you know yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, imagine... But you, I'd like to be able to walk there and not yeah, have to actually, pass as well. No, I know what I want to do. I'd want to get a lime scooter there. Yes. Nice. Yes. Yeah, they have, them in, they have them in Mexico City and they have cycle lanes everywhere so you is, can literally... Is there... There's no risk. The mansion's not ex-cartel or is it ex-cartel? No, 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 no. A lot of them are. Uh, so, okay. Just, so it's, it's, it's this a, is a clean... Airbnb yeah, yeah. type insanity. vibe. Insanity. Insanity. Insanity pool. Okay, cool. <laughs> Who is the headliner? Oh, I know what you're going to say. Yeah, you know exactly what I'm going to say. And it was the headliner at Corona Capital. Nine, Nine Inch Nails, obviously. Who's your... Okay, so mine what, what, is what, Bjork. Do you know it what? would work. Second time mentioned, third time mentioned. They're big for a reason. Okay, so we're going to... Well, well, how about this? Day each? Day each? Or you want to... Nah, they eat. You they can't eat. make Trent play before someone. We know how that goes. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely doesn't, not. Doesn't like that. Okay, so we've got Nine Inch Nails Day. We've got Bjork Day. Mm-hmm. So anything anything wacky in the stage setups? So we've got a particular era of either. Yeah, yeah. so me and Matty saw Bjork play at... We, it was at Puckle, Puckle Pop. Pop. In 2012. 12? And she had... Hampan. Hampan. I saw her. No, no, she had a block of ice, mic'd up, and someone was like walking on it. She had the... Um, that was when she has the like Van de Graaff. Machine. Did she open with the hand pans? I can't remember because I think we missed. The I opening. saw her in twenty twenty. Must have been twenty twelve. Yeah, and she played the full new album in full at the start. Yeah, and then she just went. My manager said I shouldn't do that. Fuck him. <laughs> and I was like, that's fucking sick. And she's then she, awesome. And I love some bangers. So she's gonna she's gonna do the this just like all the an amalgamation of all the weird stuff she's ever had over the years. In one what show. was the ice thing? She mic'd it was up. A, it was a massive block of ice that was mic'd up, and, and someone was just walking around. Right. Oh, so fucking cool. mad! Just be so everyone. Just be, be weird. An cool. artist. Yeah. Yeah. I think you have to be Icelandic though. To, it helps. Yeah. It helps with the ice. It certainly does help with the ice. <laughs> Get it shipped in. Yeah. Nah, 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 probably made. fresh. Yeah. Um, all right. What's the nine inch now set? Um, it's pretty close to when I saw him at the Royal Festival Hall in 2018, and they opened with the first four songs from the Fragile. So Jesus, yeah. That's How many times cool. have you thought about this? Have they got the big, the silhouette lights, classic Nine Inch Nails? Or well, got I, I really like how it is now, which is like a dirty cloth, dirty white backdrop. And uh, just, just, oh, it's great. Like, like I saw them at Brixton this year, obviously, because they're playing. Um, and just the, it's how, like, obviously at one point, the lighting was insane, like these LED things in front and behind them. Yeah. And they've kind of just scaled it back, but got... M- Almost, it feels like more creative with it. Yeah, the, that was weird. That tour was almost like an underplay. They played, and yeah. I went on tour the same day. I was so annoyed. They played a venue that you can see out of that fucking window. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, and I was on tour. I yeah. just moved in. Yeah, so Brilliant. fucking annoyed. Yeah. Um, what's your favourite Nine Nails album? The Fragile. I think it is the Fragile. It's a toss up between because of how I was, how old I was, and what it meant to me. The downward spiral was always going to be there, but as I've got older. I do think the fragile is the best one because I could, if I would just heard it now, it would sound. And someone told me it came out yesterday. Yeah, I, I, I would be like, yeah, of course. I mean, I think that was all everything, even fucking like pretty hate machine. Yeah, eighty nine. Yeah, yeah. Because of the drum samples. Yeah, yeah. Are like 
the samples that sound like a fucking Paramore yeah. album. Yeah. Like, yeah. it's like, it just sounds yeah. new. Yeah. But the Fragile, when the Fragile came out, I was like at the age, perfect age mm-hmm. for it to come out. But it was, you know, it's two disc. It yeah, was yeah. like just too much for me at the time. Yeah. So I didn't really, I, there's, there's songs from the Fragile that are like some of my favourite Nine Inch Nails songs, some of my favourite fucking songs ever. Yeah, yeah. But, they didn't resonate with me on a whole as much as Downward Spiral yeah, did. Yeah. And then actually when With Teeth came out, that was when I was like, oh, okay, I like Nine Inch Nails. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's the, the album I like. That's what I I'm, I'm a bit of a part-time fan though, me. I'm not really. Well, I mean, there's it, still. It goes deep. It's, it's the gateway, isn't it? It's the gateway. For, that's the gateway yeah, drug because yeah. it's so accessible. Yeah. Brilliant. Yeah, that's the one. I think they had the biggest commercial success with the singles. Yeah, yeah, off yeah. That one, but still, there's what like was it? hand that feeds and hurt, hand that, that, hurt them, isn't it? Hand that so feeds only. Um, yeah. Every day is exactly the same. Is only. that a single? Um, that, should be. I think should it was, be. but only was the other one I remember at the time. Um, but yeah, that was it. I literally just hit an age and like I was like eighteen or something, and was like, oh, I remember that hand that feeds song. That's class. And then you go, and then just bought the CD. Because yeah. there was still that time, it was like, oh yeah, that's that's just amazing, isn't it? Um, and then went back from there and just bought everything they'd ever done. Mm. Every single one of that my my mm. drum sound check, well, I play the whole kit. Every single one is a nice song. Just yeah. because I like it when like obviously they're like iconic fucking grooves. I feel like I'm entering my I want to make iconic grooves era. Yeah, not yeah, yeah. like I want to be the most technical person yeah, on earth. Yeah, I want to yeah. be like yeah, yeah. I want people to go. Oh, that's that song. Maturity with teeth. Yeah, yeah. fucking piggy. Like, do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Fucking. Mr. self Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Um and I like it when you see like an in house guy go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> like, oh, it's just some metal show. And he goes, yeah. Oh. You play with teeth and, and someone goes, yeah. oh. oh, this band might be good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it yeah. ends up we're not. Yeah. <laughs> okay, right. So who are either second stage or just below these bands? Uh I'd have Bono- Bonobo on one of them, I think. Favorite? Well, do you, you want to mix it up and put them on Nine Inch Nails, or I'd have be it really the, obvious and yeah, yeah. on Bjork? Uh, depends. I, if I was going to say placebo, so they can go on the Nine Inch Nails day. Oh, this festival fucking rules. And Bonobo yeah. can go on the Bjork day. Yeah, that's a nice fest. Yeah. So far, so doable. Yeah, yeah, pretty fucking realistic. What's your favorite placebo album? I I think mine is actually mine might be loud like yeah, love. yeah. Same. If we're talking old albums. I don't know. I got into "Without You, I'm Nothing" really late. That's I d- really. I didn't. That's li- really good. I, I listened to it when it yeah. like, when I was younger, but I didn't appreciate it fully until like maybe four or five years ago. But it's not my favorite. I don't know. I, I just like I like songs of. I just think they're all fucking good. They're yeah, different. Like, I, I, I really have a soft spot for meds. Meds as well. Yeah. As well. Yeah, like that. That was one I remember. I mean, let's be honest. It's, it's sleeping with ghosts in it. Mm. That's the best album. Just got the. Band. But then, but then, Nancy Boy and Pure Morning on other albums. They're two of my favorite songs. Every year, every me as well. Every year, every is on the same one. As That's on Sleeping with Ghost, isn't it? No, it's on That Is Nothing. nothing. That's yeah. it as well, on That Is Nothing. Good I fucking, don't know. what a fucking stretch those first three. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's great. Love it. I love right. It. We're still at the festival. Mm-hmm. What's catering? <laughs> Tacos. We're in Mexico. Yeah. Any, any particular ones? Have you um, got a sp- specific taco experience that you've had? Tacos, if you're American, which 35% yeah. of you are. <laughs> so. Um, Metrics. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, so one of my friends, Nico, lives in Mexico City and he took us to this yeah, weird yeah. little, like, tiny... It's basically like... He said it's basically like an old woman who just cooks, you know. Oh, my God. Does it begin with P? I I can't remember Because I'm pretty sure Jesse... It didn't look like anything. It looked like a strip. It looked like a strip club. But we went up and it was dark. It was like... Or, or small a podcast because it had neon lights. Yeah, um, banging cocktails. And then it was just like, honestly, the best... For, like, probably the best tacos I've ever eaten in my life. I'm pretty unreal. sure. And it, I'm pretty sure fucking... Jesse's just said exactly the same place in the really? festival yeah <laughs> yes it's, yes it's it. like oh, it's just some small place and some woman makes the tacos it's so good yeah um, but I, again with pee i can't remember what it's called all right so far so fucking normal yeah <laughs> what's the after show oh my god well i you can do anything on earth anything on earth anything on earth I wish you. I want you to really think. Yeah, no, what is what perfect because some people are just like i just want to go to bed no i want to roll off stage and go bowling <laughs> fuck that you, that's you your that's that. your ideal yeah, it's fucking class. I mean, yeah, it's sick. Yeah, yeah. But your your dream, so if you play Anaheim House of Blues, you really could do that. Yeah, yeah. a bowling rink. I want it, but rink? I, like, I, I mean, li- I want Alley. that as soon as I'm 
done. Like directly off, like, like off direct, stage, directly. straight to your bowling yeah, shoes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I, so I, I, you I, could I, have I, your bowling I, shoes at the side of the no, stage. I'm, yeah, yeah, I'm playing in them. That's how much I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but you're, you're on. Fir- you've told me that you're on first, second. I, yeah, and yeah. so immediately afterwards, I put a banner and I can go bowling until nine inch nails. Yeah, bowling until nine inch nails. Do you want it on site or you want to leave? Nah, I want it. I want it there. The problem is my my answer is completely different. that's that's not a problem. Right. Okay. There's two after That's parties. just stage right. Yeah, yeah. We can have two. Mm. Stage right has a bowling alley next to it. That's cool. Like there's it. also Trent, what Trent's if, there all day warming his arm up. <laughs> 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 what if I said there's also darts? <laughs> oh, no, darts. So, yeah, you darts got, I love. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Go on. I, I, just, I don't know. Like, I'm just trying to think of the best after party that I've ever been to. Well, I'm, I know what I'd want, actually, then. Go on. As well. It's a bar in Brighton called The Great Eastern and every Saturday there's an old bloke with the reddest face what I've ever seen who I think goes under the name <laughs> Professor Hard Times um, and he just plays like... Sounds 50, like a terror song. Fi- 50s and 60s... <laughs> yeah. Just plays like 50s and 60s blues in a whiskey bar and that's what I want. Him just, in a bowling alley? But the bar of the bowling alley that, is The Great Eastern. That's per- see, that's Dream Festival. I know we I can do that. Yeah, yeah, we I can want. do that. I want... To walk off stage and immediately be handed an E. Nice. I want to take. I, I want to take that as soon as, and then the time it takes for me to get from the festival to the there's a there's a club in Marbella called Playa Padre and it's like, it's just m- like fucking magic. I want to go. I want to be transported there. Nah. nah, nah. And no, as you I can get, do that. Fly, as I get, get there, your flight there, the pill kicks in. Nah, nah, nah. No, no, He's they remake happy. it in Mexico. So oh, it's okay. Not, it's not, He's not happy about that. Nah, Why? Nah, nah, no? Because. Fredigan's playing, and that's, oh, that, yes. and that's what you take the pill for. Okay, so f- it's that venue, but Fredigan's playing at the after party. Okay. Can we do that? Just one pill? Well, until it... I don't want a double drop. I haven't done it in a while, so it might be... Yeah, true. I haven't done it in fucking ages. <laughs> start start <laughs> with half and go from there. Yeah, yeah. Start with that's half and, go g- and get a pill testing kit. Yeah. Oh, ideally, especially if you're in Mexico City. Fuck yeah, knows. Yeah, we, we haven't picked up there. No. no. Dream pill, somewhere from Switzerland. <laughs> Tesla. Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're the ones that fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Get a pill. Honestly, s- side note, like, pills can be fucking fun, but pill testing kit, because yeah, yeah, shit's nice. fucking mental. Yeah. Yeah. I also can't do pills anymore. No, me neither. I'll just fucking... The depression. Yeah. I and I feel like my depression now that is constant <laughs> is from doing... Abusing... Serotonin Sometimes at eight in an evening. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's 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 just um, fucking stupid. Okay, yeah. well, let's do let's do this. Then. It's a really clean pill, and you don't get any after effects of depression or or any of that stuff. So it's crystal MDMA. <laughs> okay, MDMA. Okay, <laughs> but don't. I'm changing my answer. Test to... it. Test it. A lot of drugs in this one. Uh, I think that's it. Wouldn't be good. Amazing. Yeah. What a lovely festival. Um, a lovely the, time. The the backstage is the backstage area from Puckle Pop because everyone has to hang out, and that's what happens there. Basically. It's got nice. I should have asked you about backstage. Yeah, yeah well, you. I realised you weren't going, so I thought pop that in there. Anything out? Anything cool backstage? That you wouldn't think. I mean, is the bowling alley in the backstage? Why don't yeah, you just do that? Yeah, yeah that's yeah, easy. Yeah. Two yeah. birds and one. Yeah. Got a little bowling little bar there. Yeah. Um, you you were on tour, but it'll be over. Yeah, when cool. does it end? In like three well, days. It was meant to end on a lovely high note in Glasgow because Glasgow shows are banging. Yeah. But we had a couple of shows in the summer that we were so, meant to do that got. Rescheduled and listen to this for a while. You got you got Manchester, you got London, huge. you got Glasgow, huge Nottingham as well, Nottingham, Newcastle, Newcastle. and then Kings Lynn. So on the know, way home, though, yeah, well, you gotta go back. Crap, yeah. though, isn't it? What's the Newcastle venue? I don't know, a really think, small I, one. I think it's changed. Yeah. I mean, we just played Newcastle when it was a tiny little venue and it was fucking amazing. Yeah, it'll probably be amazing. That, then. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, it'll be fun. It'll be fun. I'm trying to think what you can do, Nando's. <laughs> we can do in Newcastle no, let's do that anyway it doesn't matter <laughs> yeah but the one in Newcastle uh, th- there's two in Newcastle there's one in Newcastle outside of bowling on it actually it's lovely so, there it's you a go. lovely time um, thanks for coming thank, thank you for having us it's uh, been a while since I've seen you yeah. I know. and I've loved it oh, and, uh, let me join your band yeah, yeah. Well, particularly for either the Dream Festival or yeah. for this Kings of Leon tour that we're manifesting we are going to manifest it manifesting cool. anyone who uses that word as a verb is a is it? <laughs> you you look like a manifester. Yeah, I know, you do. and that, I think that's why. That's, yeah, that's why, why you have to I, shave I'm your like, head. Uh, Listen, <laughs> manifesting shit works. It I did. definitely does work. Peace. Yeah.